Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're returning, thanks very much. I'm really honestly delighted that uh, you want to see more of my videos. If you haven't subscribed already, then that would be great if you could and become part of the Hell's Bells Club, um, which is uh, a name that my daughter came up with for my followers. Um, and maybe I'll do something with that in the future. I'm still kind of mulling over a few ideas. So anyway, I hope you all had a lovely weekend. It's Monday today and uh, we had a busy weekend because we had the children. And anyone that saw the Cherries Hall video will know that um, we recorded a video. They were both very, very keen to do something on the channel. And, um, and that seemed like a kind of a good opportunity. And there is a 25% discount code, which is actually quite good if you need to buy any cleaning products and stuff and they, they all come delivered to your home. So, uh, yes, that was the last video I did. And today I'm doing a very, well, it's not huge, but it's, it's a substantial next haul. Um, well, I'm hoping it will be quite big because I haven't actually tried um, the trousers on yet. And if they don't fit, it won't be very big at all. <laughs> so uh, let's keep our fingers crossed for that one. So, yeah, I'm trying those on. Um, I have got another couple of videos lined up and some more clothes ordered. I've got a very, very fancy coast haul coming up probably next week. And then I've got another Marks and Spencers haul coming up probably towards the end of this week. All very much autumnal and then evening wear. And I might do a thing I've seen called Shop My Wardrobe where I'll actually kind of go through some of the evening clothes that I have already that um, I've used. Because like you can like reuse them, can't you? You only wear them kind of Christmas, high days and holidays. Don't seem to go to any black, black tie do's anymore like we used to once upon a time. As my mum said, well, they were just called dinner and dance in my day, which is true. Anyway, so that's that. I did get, I won't mention the company name, but um, I had a clothes company contact me and on their website, the clothes looked amazing. And I ordered a selection of clothes and it took quite some time to order them. And my mum helped me. She was quite excited. She fancied a couple of things herself. And I said, well, let's see what they're like and then we can uh, go from there. They're awful. The quality is so bad. I mean, I, I think if you got it within a foot of a candle, you'd go up in flames. Let's put it that way. So I've had to write to them and say, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't show these clothes. But like I say, I'm not going to say a name, of course. But, um, oh, they're just disgusting. Anyway, um, that's that. What else was I going to say? Um, not a lot, really. It's all my hips started playing up again, but I won't go on about that. So I'm still taking the painkillers and I've got a really busy week this week. Um, Airbnb guests coming in, the last ones of the season. And um, I've got a full house of visitors at the weekend. Um, so that's going to be busy. And then next week, I've got a family funeral on Tuesday. Obviously, we've got Queen's funeral on Monday. Not that I'm there, but, you know, I'm watching it on the TV. And, um, yeah, so quite a busy time. And then we go away on the 24th, hopefully. Um, that's still not 100%, but we probably will be going away. And then I'll be doing a Pack With Me video too. So, yeah, pretty, pretty jam-packed. So I'll crack on with the... Oh, this is another Meneer necklace. I didn't realise how many I had until I thought I'd show you guys. Um, I mean, I don't think they do this particular one, but it kind of just gives you a flavour. They're friends of mine. It's it's not gifted or anything. I paid for it fair and square. And I, I it just went quite nicely with this pink blouse, which is the one from, uh, who was this from? New Look, I think. Washed, washed it and irons up lovely. So anyway, I'll crack on with the video and uh, let's see where that goes. So the first um, trousers I'm going to show you are like a jogging style and they're what they call faux leather, but they're actually really good. And these were in the next sale. And I did want to mention that um, there's always a clearance section on the next website. So if you go across the tabs at the top, on the far right hand side, there's the clearance tab and that that runs 
all the time and I always look there first for anything I might be looking for. So these were £17.50, which I think is half price or less. And they're actually really, really, really comfortable. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to show, you know, this bit, because that looks pretty grim to be honest, but they've got nice pockets. They've got um nice seam down the front. And they actually do feel like really soft leather, except they're washable and they're £17.50. They're in a lovely khaki colour. And, um, yeah, they've got um, pockets on the back. Or are they fake pockets? Yeah, they're fake pockets. A nice detail on the back and a drawstring waist. And uh, I, think they're, I think they're pretty fabulous, actually, for £17.50. Um, and I've had a few of these kind of, well, these are actually completely um, like, I guess they're polyurethane um, because they're P, P U. Um, I don't really know what that stands for, I'm guessing it, but they're like a faux leather, basically. Um, but I think they look really nice. I've got a khaki top, actually, as part of the, the haul today. So I'm going to pop that on with these. And um, and then I'll keep that on for the other trousers. So that, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So, yeah, that's pretty, I'm pretty pleased with that one as a, as a first one. So you can see they're not kind of super shiny. Um, I know Trini and Susanna said no leather on the bottom half once you're over 30. But, you know, rules are meant to be broken, aren't they? So I, I think that's really nice. So that's the first one. I'll look at, you know what's quite interesting, I watch these videos back and sometimes I change my mind because you actually see what you look like in them. Anyway, that's number one. Okay, so what I've established is that um, skinny fit coated trousers look awful on me. I look like I had spray painted my bare legs with shiny paint, so you're not seeing those. Um, but these are straight leg uh, coated they call them so they're kind of more like fabric with a, a coating on I'll, I'll show you them up close when I've taken them off I can't get my legs up that high these are straight leg and these were only £14.50 and a very very useful pair of trousers like I said I've got a few of these um, coated fabric jeans trousers whatever you want to call them and I, I really get on with them because, I mean, for one thing, they're kind of wiped clean. So apart from hygiene-wise, um, you can get away with wearing them quite a few times before you have to wash them. And uh, they're a good length. I think these are actually long, which is weird for me because I've got short legs. But, um, yeah, as I say, these are only £14.50. I'll put the links on. I mean, they, they might not all be available, and I was aware of that. But all I was trying to illustrate is, is um, you know, you can have a look on their clearance site and see. Again, these are an 18 and very, very good value, very practical, very useful. So they're a winner. I think, I don't know if I need them because I've got a black pair like this upstairs, but I might. And I'm going to do that lace up before I break my neck. That's all I need to fall over again. So, uh, yeah, that's um, number two. So this is a fairly basic cotton t-shirt. I think these are £11 each and they do them in a few colours. Long sleeves, as you can see. Very nice cotton. Really nice soft feel to it. A nice neck, not too high, not too low. And they've got this nice detail here on the um, side seam. And these are, the trousers are a very, you know, wardrobe staple really. Just a pair of black cotton chinos these were 22 pounds i think they're pure cotton i don't think i've got any stretch in them so quite a good fit i think um these would have been regular length and you know i mean it's just a nice everyday outfit really um i think these t-shirts are really good in the winter for layering and i've got this uh cardigan that i i rather liked as well this was um 35 pounds and what's this made from um polyester nylon acrylic and wool it's decent weight i like this i like stars i don't like hearts but i do like stars weird isn't it 
don't know why, but oh, excuse my tummy. But yeah, it's a, it's a nice, nice length. Plain at the back with the stars. Oh, I, oh yeah, so yeah, it's got stars sort of down the, the sleeves here and uh, nothing on the back. I'll look at the video. I'll, I'll judge from the video whether I'm going to keep it or not because it's just, it's quite a smart cardigan. No pockets, but it would, it would distort the cardigan, so that's not a problem really. But, yeah, I think not bad for 35 um Thirty-five pound. I think I'll probably get a lot of wear from this. Oh gosh! I hope I haven't troubled you all with the microphone. Sorry if I have. Um, I tend to forget I've got it on. Very professional, looking I'm not professional. So yeah. So that's the trousers were twenty-two. The t-shirt was eleven. I think if you buy two, you get them for ten pound fifty each, and the cardigan was thirty-five pounds. I'll just show you this while I've got the same trousers and t-shirt on. I've got this cardigan, which is wool and acrylic. I don't mind an acrylic mix. I think actually it helps to make the cardigan um, lighter. If this was all wool, it would be too warm. This is a nice length. This is nicer than I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. It's knee length. It's got these little slits at the side. I think, you know, to be honest, we're all going to be putting cardigans on when we come in, aren't we? With the cost of heating it's got these nice pockets at the side and it's really not too heavy um it's got quite voluminous sleeves but they're kind of not in your way voluminous if you know what i mean you can see this not not quite a bat wing but getting on for a bat wing sleeve so yeah pretty color um this one 38 pounds don't know if i said that already so i just thought i'd show you that and then i've got a coat again that i'm going to pop on now as well and then I've got a couple of tops, a couple of dresses, and oh, one, anyway, yeah, a couple of tops, a couple of dresses, and um, a coat. So bear with. I also bought this cardigan in camel, and I've just popped it on with the best top that I had on under my shirt. Obviously, it's the same style as the other one, and I've put it on with these black, what they call tracks trousers. I'm rather taken with these trousers that have got the stripes down the side, and these are camel, obviously. They're 30 pounds, and they are polyester, and they feel quite polyester, so I might look for something similar. But um, this is another one of those that it actually looks better out of the bag. I don't know why. I nearly didn't try it on, and then I saw the um, trousers with the camel. But, you know, I think it's, it's quite a kind of contemporary look, quite classy look, I think. Um, smart, casual, nice to go shopping. Um, yeah, so 38 acrylic and wool. I think the trousers were 30, but I'll, I'll price them all up on the site, the description box, and the um, they're polyester, and they're an 18 as well. These are extra large, the cardigans. So I've got a cardigan to try on. I'll just quickly pop that on. This is a cardigan. I think this is acrylic. Uh, no, what is it? 100% polyester. Um, but it's kind of okay because it, it's kind of woolly, if you know what I mean, kind of furry. So it doesn't feel like polyester and it will obviously keep its shape. It's got pockets that are stitched up. I won't open those. I've just popped it on with my vest top as before. Um, this is £40. But quite a useful... You know, it's kind of a step up from a cardigan in smartness-wise. Um, quite a useful item to have in your wardrobe, I think, a cardigan, as they call them. Um, I've got a couple. Uh, yeah, so that's a lovely soft pink too. So that's £40 cardigan, 100% uh, polyester. So now I will put on one. Well, I've got two tops to try on, which won't go with these trousers, but, you know, you have to use your imagination. <laughs> This is a lovely print monochrome blouse. This is £34. It's not in the sale or anything. But um, it is polyester, but it's kind of quite a, a nice chiffon, which you'd kind of expect to be polyester. It's a good length. It's got some nice detail. It's got these pin tucks here running down, little gold 
brass buttons. Good length with a, I, you know, with a smart pair of trousers. I think this look, could look quite, quite smart, really. I'd probably put a black, if I was wearing black trousers, I'd put a black vest off underneath to give that whole continuity shape thing going on. So, um, yeah, that's the first of the tops. There's not really a lot to say about it. It's plenty big enough, size 18, um, 34 pounds. So this is a lovely blue, um, powder blue. It's got these little turn back details here. It's very um, clingy, you know, I mean, it's showing the lace of my bra and everything else. But it's, it's quite, if, you know, if you, if you like these kind of floaty tops, it's not for me, I'm going to say right from the get go. But it's got this kind of chiffon insert here. And, you know, with a pair of wide leg black trousers, it could look quite dressy. They're not too dressy, but yeah, lovely colours. Um, can't remember the price, but I will put it on the description box. So, yeah, too clingy for me and too long for me and too, too everything for me, really. But uh, it's a lovely colour. I love the colour, my colour. But that's where it begins and ends. So here we have a Myling class, class, class dress. Um, this is £33. This was in the sale, so I think this was a £65 dress originally. 100% viscose, geo print. It's quite a heavy fabric. It's got some lovely colours in it. Collared, um, buttoned all the way through. I've got bare feet because um, my shoes are upstairs and my legs hurting. Um, tiered, two tiers. Kind of got a lot going on, I think. I don't know what you think. I think with this print, it maybe could have done with a few less frills and flounces, but it's a nice quality dress, a bit different, colourful, pretty. Um, nice big sleeve. Again, this is an 18. Um, it's just above my ankles. And yeah, so that's dress number one. I've got another dress and then I'll finish up. So this is the final dress, and this was £8. I know, ridiculous, isn't it? But, um, I mean, it would take some serious undergarments to make this workable. I mean, it's a shame, because it's a, it's a good um, style, really. You know, the way it kind of drapes across, it gives you these nice length sleeves. It's got a nice back, but... Um, you know that expression you can see what i had for dinner it's very very silky and clingy but uh, with the right you know underwear it could look really quite effective but you definitely need well i would definitely need something under this to make it viable so that's the last one so that was a fairly big haul um so i just wind up finish the video up so i hope you've enjoyed that like i say um got uh, an m and haul next and then a coast haul plus well I've just had a delivery of some items for another collaboration so I'll wait and see what those are like hopefully they're more successful than the uh, clothes that I just opened so anyway it's lovely to talk to you have a lovely week and I'll see you really soon thanks for watching bye